Hey, what is going on guys? VBGZ here. And in this video today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install a mod menu on Among Us. Now, as always, don't forget to smack that like button and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And now we can go ahead and get right into this. So I've been seeing a lot of these Among Us mod menus online. Um, and not going to lie, most of the videos are pretty shady on there. It's usually, you know, someone with no mic blaring dubstep in the background and typing on a notepad. So I want to make a quick and easy tutorial for you guys to install this mod menu because it is pretty easy. So the first thing I want to go ahead and do is download BlueStacks right here. It's an Android emulator, so it's basically a phone on your computer. You can do pretty much anything an Android phone could do. You're just going to go ahead and install that. And then you're going to want to go ahead and go to the media fire link that I'm going to leave in the description and download this Among Us right here. Now, this is not a virus, guys. I uh, promise me I would never try to do that to you guys. I'm completely 100% legit, and I'll even run it just to make sure for you guys. And what you're going to want to do once you have uh, these two things installed is go ahead and open up BlueStacks right here. And then what you're going to go ahead and do is run this APK. So if you double click on it, here, I'll show you guys. I'm going to uninstall my current version of Among Us. So I just uninstalled my current version of Among Us. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click on this file we just the, this file we just installed right here. Just don't go ahead and double click it. It'll say installing APK. And it's going to go ahead and install on BlueStacks right here. Just to show you guys this is not a virus. Once again, I would never try to put a virus on your guys' computer. And as you can see, it's done. Just go ahead and click on it. And sometimes it'll pop up with this right here telling you that it's a... Uh, it needs to overlay just go ahead and click it and it'll turn it on then you got to back out of among us and then click on it again and sometimes it does take a little bit longer to load up than it normally would because it's running off of your you know gpu and stuff because this is just a whole nother device on your computer now after a few seconds or so you guys should load in uh it's basically just the normal game of among us but the only thing different is this little thing right here this is your mod menu so you're going to want to click on it and right here you have all your options to do a bunch of stuff and you could also minimize it right here you could just go into any online game and let's see if we can actually get lucky and get into one on first try now as you can see we are in now some of the mods don't work for this um and you know it's actually listed on here which ones don't you know work so for example um this one right here the no kill cooldown um it's detected so um, I actually tried this before and I killed multiple people in a short amount of time and it actually banned me from the lobby. So this doesn't work and as you can see right here repair sabotage is broken. So I'm sure these issues will be fixed you know as development goes on. I'll make sure to keep you guys updated on this. Um, now to address another problem that I was having uh, where if you click on the game and it crashes as soon as you start it up. To fix that what you're going to want to go ahead and do is click on the little cog down here go to um, engine and turn your graphics render to DirectX. For some reason, it always crashes when it's on OpenGL for me at least. But it, so if you guys are having that problem where it crashes as soon as you open up, turn it to DirectX. And if you guys want it to run a little bit smoother, you could always, you know, up your uh, your CPU and you could also, you know, um, boost your dedicated RAM right here. I have mine set to two gigabytes because I feel like that's enough. And four, four cores for, you know, just uh, uh, one game is, is a little bit overkill. So I just have it set to one. So anyway, I hope you guys really did enjoy. Don't forget to smack that like button and subscribe. Once again, it does so much for the channel. Um, I've been recently trying to get back into, you know, keeping this YouTube channel, you know, updated and, and you know, being more active on it than I've, than I've usually been. So um, if you guys could, once again, smack that subscribe button, it would, it would mean a lot to me. Um, yeah, and without further ado, I'm VBGZ, signing off. Thanks for watching, guys.